Fight! You ready? Let's do it! All right, so here's the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. He's able to slip the left. Well, turning defense to offense here, blocks the strike and then counters with a straight hand. Nice job by Choi. Nice jab. Keep your hands up. Fight behind a nice jab. Sidekick, well done. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. All right, so a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you see? Too much respect, and you saw it in the buildup. They were hugging at the lands. It's almost like we're watching friends. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you worked on over the course of the last eight weeks of the fight camp. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurts. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight right is there. And there's another straight. It's there by Choi. Lands the inside leg kick. Thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it come. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, how clean is that jab by Choi? Trying to hammer that lead leg. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Another good stick to the head. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Nice punch to the head. There's another one. Big body kick. Nice straight right, Lance. Ninety seconds now to go in round one. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking. Group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Trading huge shots to see who's gonna be the last man standing. Under a minute now to go. Choi gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing, you appreciate the sweet science. His jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Oh, nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Oh, nice jab up top by Shore. Final seconds. Another punch to the head.
Oh. That horn sounds oh. means we have reached oh. the end oh. of round oh. one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious is that a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Great job blocking that one. My champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Show me some. Show me some. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, big overhead. Oh. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Nice jab by Short. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Big punch lands through the middle. mark on his opponent. Three minutes. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high. It's now he's got hurt bad. Oh man, these are hard. Oh, big knee to the body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job. And now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Choi gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Big kick. He's just trying to throw those kicks even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. Beautiful kick to the body. Oh, massive overhand lands. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Straight punch is true. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Yeah, 
Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it works. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Punch over the top. Good work with the jab there. Back and forth we go. Here's the kick blocked by Choi. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big shot to the head. Straight punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice punch lands over the top. Misses with the left hook. Just over three minutes to go now. Able to block that one. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nice punch there. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, a huge block there. Work that cut. Work that cut. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Left hand finds the target. Oh, man. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You've doled out all this damage. Might as go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not gonna move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. 
Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. And that one certainly found the target. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is his... That is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. That one was clean. Great punch. Oh, misses with the jab. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. 15 seconds remain in the round. Nice jab. to the championship no. rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Don't be stupid. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Man, that cut has really opened up. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Hook shot lands. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kate Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Oh, here comes the counter just out of range. Lock that punch. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Short. Another good shot. Just over three minutes to go. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That is a damaging kick that lands. The Korean Superboy gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, look at that leg kick. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this gameplay. 
Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counting as we go forward. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch, John. Like, that's why I turn my face when I see something. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. 90 seconds to go. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Choi gets stung by that leg kick. Under a minute now to go. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, huge kick to the leg. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Right on the button. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out of there. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Final seconds of round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Ready to fight. Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the story. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Keeping him honest with the jab. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, beautiful jab there by Choi. Oh, good block there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. 
So I'm gonna hit you with a picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh! Oh, he hurt him again! Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. There it is again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Able to block the punch there. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Establishing the jab. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautiful. Oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. One minute to go in the fight. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. He lands the right hand over the top. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 20 seconds to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Played the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chai. So 